This WBTV High Definition program is sponsored by Honda Dealers of the Carolinas. WBTV News This Morning starts right now. Good morning, I'm John Carter. Next at 5 o'clock, a woman riding her bike suddenly struck by a driver in Belmont. This morning, her family says the driver is still on the run and the cyclist seriously hurt. We also continue our coverage of the falling wire incident at Charlotte Motor Speedway. This morning, we hear from a man whose father was hurt after getting tangled in. Christine. Yeah, I'm here live in the First Alert Weather Center with meteorologist Al Congla. Did you have a nice holiday weekend? I did. I hope you did as yes, well. Uh, did. A lot of folks were complimenting and patting me on the back. Yeah. As if I had something to do with it, right? <laughs> Uh, but you think about it, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're in the 70s here, a little yeah. cooler than average. Yesterday we hit 82, it's we're gorgeous. headed up from here, and uh, as you would typically expect this time of the year, we start to crank up the heat a little bit we'll more chances for rain this week, Tanya, in just a couple minutes. Right now, let's get a first look at First Alert Traffic. Thanks, Al, and good morning. Your First Alert Traffic sponsored by Toyota. I'm North Charlotte, nice quiet start to your morning, and with the good weather that Al has talked about, in we've got to check back in with traffic and the weather in less than 10 minutes. Tanya, thanks, 502 right now. A woman in the hospital hurt in a hit and run in Belmont this morning. The driver responsible is still on the run. It happened yesterday afternoon on Wilkinson Boulevard. And relatives say Melanie Rose Matthews was riding her bike when the car hit her and the driver took off. Presbyterian Hospital says Matthews is in fair condition, but the family of the 52 year old says she is in bad shape. It means everything. It says you respect human life. If you stop, you respect human life. If you don't, you don't have respect for human life anymore. Now, if you know anything about the hit and run on Wilkinson Boulevard, call the Belmont Police Department. Police say the man accused of causing a deadly wreck which killed two people was speeding and using drugs. We brought you the story. It's breaking news yesterday on WBTV News this morning. That's right. Officers say 20-year-old Billy Neal ran a red light and hit Jose and Hugo Aguilar on Idlewild Road at East WT Harris Boulevard in Southeast Charlotte. You see the damage here that it caused. Investigators say Neal ran from the scene but returned later and was taken to the hospital. He's being charged with two counts of felony death by motor vehicle, felony hit and run, DWI, and driving with a revoked license. Well, looking ahead, Charlotte City Council is expected to vote on funding for the streetcar project today. City Manager Ron Carley wants council to take a vote so the city won't miss a deadline to apply for federal grant money. The City Links Gold Line, as it's now called, would connect East and West Charlotte. The project has been in the planning stages for years. We continue our coverage of a bizarre incident at Charlotte Motor Speedway that hurt 10 people. A nylon wire from an overhead camera broke and fell onto fans Sunday at the Coca-Cola 600. It also damaged three cars. Pat Carpenter and his son Chris are two people dealing with this. This morning, Pat is still at the hospital with several injuries. Well, okay, man, Ron Lee joining us now live from Charlotte Motor Speedway. Uh, looking into the story, good morning, Ron. What can you tell us about Carpenter's condition? Uh, good morning, guys. Well, the victim's son says his father is not in very good condition at all. Now, Chris Carpenter and his father, Pat, came down here from the Triad area to catch the race. But right in the middle of it, uh, they say what they caught was a cable that snapped off one of the yeah, aerial It could have been a lot worse, and a lot of people should be very thankful. I know I'm very thankful that he's here today. Now, NASCAR says that they're going to be talking with Fox to have a little confab about exactly what happened. Right now, the details of the accident are unclear. We're not sure why it all happened in the first place. So the Carpenters tell us that neither Fox Sports nor the folks here at the Speedway have reached out to them at all. On the road, I'm Cam Man, Ron Lee, WBTV. On your side. All right, thanks for that live report, Ron. Right now, Secretary of State John Kerry is in Paris looking to speed up talks between Syrian rebels and the country's government. This morning, we get the first look at Arizona Senator John McCain's surprise visit to Syria. McCain crossed into the country from Turkey yesterday to meet with leaders of the opposition group fighting President Bashir al-Assad's regime. The European Union voted to lift the arms embargo for the opposition groups. We are working to learn the name of the Raleigh man whose body was recovered from Steel Creek in Burke County. A woman and her husband were camping in Pisgah National Forest when the man apparently slipped into a deep pool beneath a set of falls Sunday. Rescue crews spent hours trying to recover his body. Officials tell us the man got caught in a whirlwind 
federal pool and was not able to get out. Well, we're just getting started this morning on WBTV News. The search resumes for at least one person accused of killing a police officer in Kentucky. This morning, hear the strong words the town's police chief has for the shooter. Plus, an announcement possible today from the Charlotte Bobcats. There's a report the team has hired a new coach. And a soldier out west paying tribute to a friend who died in battle. See what he did to honor him on Memorial Day. We're always on your side with WBTV News this morning. It's six minutes after five o'clock. Stay right here.